They say I'm crazy. I really don't care. That's my prerogative. If you want to get to the core of BET's September 4th debuting tonight, The Bobby Brown Story, then let me point you to a line about halfway through the first part. When the once again Woody McLean portrayed every little step singer says at a London gig to his Macau Pfeiffer played brother, yo Tommy, you got the money? Because the money is what this Abdul Williams pen, Jesse Collins EP, and Brown himself co produced follow up to 2017's rating surging three part The New Edition story biopic is all about, on and off screen. It's money because with Brown himself pressing, press junketing the hell out of the show, if BET picks up even a portion of the audience that the new edition story snagged, they are made in the shade with a throwback hit. Bobby has the number one album in the country, Mr. Brown. Anything that simulates sexual intercourse is strictly prohibited. With a solid, but if sometimes, let's say, karaoke performance from McLean, who appeared briefly, by the way, in USA Network's Unsolved earlier this year, the Kyle Adrian Scott directed The Bobby Brown Story is also money because even though things Things often look flat where they should flourish and lack the visual dexterity that the singer himself had by the boatload back in the early 1990s, the Bobby Brown story aims to deliver precisely what the Viacom, Onet, and the producers know the people want, which is the inside dope on Brown's passionate and ultimately fractured relationship with his second wife, Whitney Houston, played with coy deliberation by Rosewood alum Gabrielle Dennis, the downward spiral the drug addled couple face planted into together and individually, and of course, the music. Yes, from what I've seen, this is certainly an authorized biography with a number of particularly unpleasant and questionable actions by the R&B superstar himself omitted, like a certain 2003 9-11 domestic call by Houston, who died in 2012, or bleached out. But there are, from literally the opening scene, a lot of self-inflicted wounds put right up there for all to see. Perhaps better named the Bobby Brown story, according to Bobby Brown, the personal failings are bad boy bricks to building the redemption story to come. Cue the inspirational music. And in a show with actor portrayed Janet Jackson, Michael Jackson, Tupac, and Bobby and Whitney's now deceased daughter, Bobby Christina Brown, played by power vet Doshina Hopkins, appearances to name check but a few, to name check one of the great Bobby tunes, that's not an unexpected prerogative of the genre. You got her pregnant while we were engaged. Bobby is getting high every day. You letting your career just fade away messing with this shit and Whitney. The ability to define your own narrative to the occasional omission of reality is certainly not exclusive to Bobby Brown, who has long sought to get his version out there of what really went down between himself and the multiple Grammy-winning Houston in their media-spotlighted marriage, where he was quickly cast as the villain. To that end, know what you are getting with the Bobby Brown story. And even with shortcomings and loose threads of the four-hour biopic, watch. Because sometimes, just sometimes, real life is better than fiction especially with some great tunes and fictionalization on top. That's the money.